to my cooking channel. Today we'll be making some some sultana scones and some shortbread biscuits in one video. Um, so here we go. For this, first of all, we're making the scones. So you need to preheat your oven to two hundred and twenty degrees Celsius. And if you're doing it in gas marks or 220 degrees Celsius, 425 degrees Fahrenheit or gas mark 7. Um, first of all you need to, I've got my little recipe here, but I'm doing it slightly different actually. Okay, so you need 225 grams of self-raising flour, mine's in here, and I've also got two teaspoons of baking powder in here as well. Um, so you, I'm going to sieve this in quickly. Okay, so that's in there. You need 50 grams of butter, or I'm just using hard margarine. Sieving this in. Um, 25 grams of caster sugar, one egg and um, some milk, but it doesn't say how much, so I'm going to figure that one out in a bit. You'll need to, um, one minute, I can't multitask, I'm very bad at that. Make up to 150 millilitres of milk. Okay, so you've got your flour and baking powder all in there. Then you need to add the butter. until it represents breadcrumbs. So, oh yeah, my wrist has just recovered, so I won't be as good. Okay, does it go through? Yeah, it's printed. I don't know, but it's printed. Wait, what did it say on the printer? Uh, printing. Well, yeah, it's printed. I don't know, I'll start, I'm busy. or dried fruit of your choice. I'm just using these because they're what was in my cupboard. So when you mix them in, just with your hand you just mix them around so that you just mix them. Okay, after you've done that, Then you need to beat it up. Fork. 
up to 150 millilitres. You, your Welsh is amazing, don't you know? Yeah, thank you. Stephanie. Okay, so that's done. To, once your mixture is all together, you want to roll it out with your rolling pin. No, this is annoying me now. Get off. with your medium sized cutter and put them straight onto your tray that you should have already greased. 
I forgot to do that. Okay, when you've done all your things, if you have a, like a, a, a leftover piece of thing like I have, just roll it up into a fairly small ball and pop it on. I've only got nine, and then you put I them... Okay, so after you've got more in the tray, you need to, um, uh, you need to put them into the preheated cooker for 15, 20 minutes, 12 to 15 How minutes. How high is the preheated oven? You already know. Okay. I'm only going to put them in for, oops. Three documents waiting. Because you sent it three times. You're allowed to delete them because it's cancelled it on there. I don't know. Wait, I'm just yeah, 12 to 15 minutes. So then, whilst you're waiting for them to cook, you need to clean your bowl and your surface and stuff so you're ready for the um, short crust biscuits. And if you don't want to know how to make them, um, don't watch it. So I need to clean this up. Okay, so now you need to do your shortbread biscuits, and to do that, you, um, when your scones come out, you need to quickly turn the heat back down to 170 degrees Celsius, or gas mouth three, I don't know what it is in front of me, sorry. Okay, first of all, you need to grab your whisk again. Oops. And you need to do the flour and the margarine. Yeah, you need 150 grams of that, um, 100 grams of butter, and 50 grams of caster sugar, but then some extra sugar just to sprinkle on the top of them. So I'm trying to work fast because I've got three minutes left because I was helping my sister sort out something.
so that's what my scones look like. Um, that one's a bit burnt, and that one's a bit deformed, but that's my scones. So now I need to turn this down to 100 and what did I say? 170. So I actually just need to grab a cooling rack. So yeah, you, oops, <laughs> I'm over here now. to do when you're making these and um, because you're not using any liquid or anything and you have to just use basically your hands and squeeze it together don't panic if it takes a while because it does it's not the quickest thing to make Do 
do not add any liquids. See, I've still got loads in there, but it is coming together slowly. to re-grab your medium sized cutter. Okay, I need to... What I'm going to do is I'm going to see it's if I can... So when all your biscuits 
so on the trays and ready to go in you have to put them in at your other your newly preheated oven at 170 for 15 to 20 minutes but I'm only going to put them for 15 minutes
think I need to make another batch. Bye guys!